Hi, this is Kat Matson from the Australian Business Women's Network for another episode of Social Media from Small Business from South by Southwest 2015. And I have here the author Annabelle Gerwich who has written this book. And I'm sorry, I don't need to know anything else because it's just got big girl panties on the front. It sure does. Those are pink granny panties. And the book, I See You Made an Effort, is about... Well, you know, I have to say, the New York Times wrote this piece, and they actually told me what the book was about oh, when really? they wrote about oh, it, because nice. and what they said was, Annabelle Gerwich is arguing that we don't have a template for aging anymore. And, you know, I'm a comedian, so I am arguing in a hopefully very hilarious way, but it is really a book about, and it is particularly for women, although I have a lot of male readers, mm -hmm. but it is a book about, that asks the question, like, you, at this time in your life, um, a lot of women are reinventors, you know, Mm -hmm. and, and it sort of asks the question of what do we do at this point and how do we age, how do we see ourselves, how does the world see us and there's some really interesting statistics and interesting things to think about. So, okay. Well, one of them is, is that majority of entrepreneurs in America right now are between the ages of 40 and 60 and they're women and they're women starting businesses out of their own house and I, you know I happen to be one of them myself I'm a reinventor I was an employee I was an actress and now I'm a business owner I'm a writer <laughs> now that's a pretty nutty how's thing. that working for you you know it's actually working very well but it's not you know easy and yeah. it's a different but it, but you know it was a path that a lot of women and men take as well you know but it is um it is one of those things that happens at a certain point in your life when you hit a gray ceiling an age ceiling or for women the glass ceiling and um and then you say you know what am i doing with my life how do i i'm a multi-platformer so nice. i take my books i make them into films i make i turn them into tv shows um, and I did all that from taking from an acting career, so I've really changed my life and my business, you know, several times now. Lovely. So, so repurposing content is your key, one of your key strategies right yeah. now. I was a television presenter. I was a host of a television show, and I consider myself a recycled talent. <laughs> I'm very ecologically friendly. I took that old career and I just upcycled it into a new career. But it was actually kind of great. People who are my audience as a performer have stayed with me as as a as an author, and a lot of that has to do. I do I'll spend a lot of time um, finding my people. So that's like with my Twitter and my Facebook and all the social media. It's a great way to aggregate an audience that I built from a different career that I had. So basically it just means I work 24 hours a day, which is nutty. I'm also a mother and a wife, but it's been very satisfying for me. And I'm really interested in, um, I'm always taking, in my books, this is my third book, I'm always taking things that are in the, in the zeitgeist. And so I've written about the future of marriage, I've written about the future of employment, and this is one about the future of, you know, of, of aging. What, is, what does that mean? Um, so so what, is, what is the trick to aging? Do we still do it gracefully or do we just do it with, I don't know, hilarity? L do it with hilarity. <laughs> my feeling is I really hate that phrase, like, I is aging gracefully. That to me is like just way too sedentary and it just sounds like I'm gonna sit in an old rocking chair and knit and it's too sedentary for me. I'd rather say aging with a vengeance. I'm pissed off about it, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it except to do it anyway. Um, and that I feel anger is my great motivator in life. So um, why are you angry about it? Why am I angry about it? There's a lot of indignity that comes with aging, and I just like mean, I just, I just mean like, just the, if I eat a cashew, I have to change into sweatpants. I mean, look, <laughs> it's just the way that life is for me right now. I mean, I'm just not gonna, you know, it's just the way it is. Okay, so here's the thing: I wear reading glasses now, right? I didn't used to wear glasses. I went shopping and I bought this little necklace and the necklace had a little leaf on it. And I'm walking around town, I live in Los Angeles and I'm like, people are smiling at me and they're all really happy. I'm like, yeah, I'm like an eco-friendly person. I get home and I look in the mirror and I realize I'm not wearing a necklace with a leaf, I'm wearing a necklace with an angel wing. <laughs> 
and I've attracted some super religious people who, <laughs> great for them, but you know, I was like, that's not the message I was trying to send. That's so, awesome. And I realized I need reading glasses, just one more indignity after another. Hence the sort of okay. subtle passive aggressive title, I see you made an effort. So most of the entrepreneurs in Australia mir yes. mirror the trend that you echoed in terms yeah. of um, America. They're in their early 40s, but I'm not sure whether they're in their 60s. What's your one tip to those women who are aging with a vengeance yes. to be successful entrepreneurs? Uh, forget sleeping. <laughs> it's just going to be really hard work. But um, you know, use your social networks. Use use the what the, the if there's any advantage to the kind of FOMO or fear of missing out that you get from the internet and everyone's Facebook pages. It is a great way to find people from other parts of your life who may be interested in your products and your business. It really. It has really worked to my advantage. I really resisted the Twitter. I'm so old I can say the Twitter. Um, but you can't, by yeah, the way. I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> and uh, but it has really worked. And so I just use every advantage that you have. Um, and that's that's just the key is to be really creative and inventive and think out of the box. Annabelle, thank you so much. The book is right here. Big Girl Panties on the front cover. You can't miss it. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. Good luck, everybody. Thank you.